guys welcome back to the channel so in today's video i'm going to be doing week two of the planner challenge from marguerite miller and um with this you are collaging in a planner and uh you need a person an image from a magazine a doodle a piece of washi a tea bag cover and then the bonus is an illustration so i'm going to go ahead and this is just this is my personal planner uh I, this is not what i do my collage work in this is where i write down my youtube videos and such so anyway um i'm going to go ahead and take that and move that out the way so i have my washi i have my tea bag cover uh lavender love lavender I have my person. I actually have two people. I have Mother Goose and a lady, a lavender lady. Uh, my doodle. I had to find a doodle because I don't draw. I don't doodle. So this is from the Graphic Fairy. Um, and then this is going to be image from magazine. Hopefully I can find some, peop uh, some different things in there to use. And I grabbed this piece of paper just because it's really, really pretty. Um, and it's from... Uh, paper pad that I've had for many, many years. So let's move my phone out the way. Okay. So how are you guys all doing? This is my planner that I have been working in. Um, I started doing like collagey, like just whatevs in it. And then I ran across this challenge and I figured, Hey, we can make that happen. So this is the first um, challenge or the first week. That was this page. And then this is going to be the second week. So let's get started. I don't think we need a highlighter. I could be wrong, but I don't think I am. Now, had I not found the doodle, we might have needed the highlighter because uh, <laughs> I don't doodle or draw or, you know, any of that stuff. So let's see what we can find for an image from a magazine. This particular magazine is called Ideals. Uh, this one is called Hometown Issue. And this is from, what idea? Uh, 1968. So I'm going to see what I can find in here. That's pretty cool. I'm actually going to save this one because I have another a different week that needs architecture. So I'm actually going to save that image right there. And we will do that later. Oh, look at that. Those are people and it's an image from a magazine. And it's drawn. It's actually painted. <clears throat> so anyway, oh, that's pretty blue people. I think of that blue Abadiba song. Every time I say blue anything. Bloop, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Oh, that's pretty too. I like that. That's nice. Kids playing. The puppies. Oh, I like that. I really like that. Um, I like that too. That's nice. I think we're going to go with this one here. Right. Just going to take that out. We're going to put that aside. And okay. put that right on the edge there. But also do it this way. Or, or, oh, we can do it that way. Yes, let's do it right across the top. Okay. So if you guys aren't familiar yet, this is, um, it's a weekly challenge. And it is for just collaging stuff. 
All right, so I'm going to go ahead and put this down. We're going to collage around it, on top of it, you know, what else? Okay, there's that one. I want the bird. I'm not really measuring, I'm just kind of guessing. Nothing super precise or anything like that. Let's see. And if you guys remember, this is the same planner that's actually from 2019. And um, I was using this to try to, you know, just have things to do or to cover it up, you know, but still make it useful. And I'm only doing one side of each of the collages because my intention is to be able to take this out of the planner and then use this page as something, whether it's cards or, you know, whatever. So I'm going to try to use Fabri-Tac a lot if I can. Um, because again, it doesn't warp the paper. It doesn't wet the paper. It is not a water-based glue. Hold that. Right. All right. I'm just going to smear that glue around in there. Then I'm going to put this one right on top of that. But I think what I want to do with this one is I want to ink it. And drive my inky thing. My inky thing. Is that a thing? My inky. <laughs> no idea. Oh my goodness. I don't have my brush. Hmm. This one will work. I don't really want to use this one. Oh, oh well. All right, so I'm basically just going to make the edges look like the flowers. Nice dark brown color. This particular color is potting soil, and it's archival ink by Ranger. So anyway, I have been drowning my stress-filled mind with Netflix um, lately, and I've decided to start re-watching Grey's Anatomy. I think I've mentioned that already, because I've watched it a couple times already. Well, not completely front to end, nothing like that. But I started watching it with my oldest daughter. I think I got to like season 12 or something like that. There's like 95 seasons. But um, then I started, I rewatched it. I started to rewatch it with my youngest daughter, Sid. Um, there we go. And so I've been doing that lately. What have you guys been doing lately? I feel like I haven't been around. I feel like the world has made it quite stressful as of late. All right. I'm going to rip that and put that fabric tack down. 
That's my washi tape. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this yet. I mean, it is nice. I do like it. Make it a pocket. And collage on top of it. Could do that. Um, I'm going to put my person on there. That'd be cool. Do that. Right. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the pocket yet, but so. How many of you, if any, are taking part in these challenges? All right, so I'm actually going to pull this image off of the chipboard and I'm gonna use just the image. Because I, I want the image, but I don't necessarily want the chipboard. So I'm just gonna pull the image right off. And that, my dear, is how you use chipboard pieces without the chipboard. Because sometimes the chipboard pieces can be a little thick, especially for, you know, the things that we do. But they're really cool images. That and they're already cut out, so I don't have to cut them out. So I like those. All right. So anyway, what have you guys been up to? What have you been doing while I was a little MIA? You know, just a little. I need to open my pocket back up. Not sure what I'm going to put in there yet, but there is a pocket. All right, what else do we got over here? We got a doodle. All right, so this just says designed and made by. And it's got a sewing machine, uh, some yarn, some glue, hot glue, paint, crayons, a bucket of paint, some glue, and a tomato with some pens. Um, I think I'll use this one. But yeah, I would be interested to see if you guys are taking part in these challenges. And if you are, post your pictures um, in the group and can share them with everybody. There we go. All right. All right, let's see if we can't find an illustration. That was one of them that I was like, ew, what do I do with that? But then I thought about the Ideals magazine. There's all kinds of stuff in that Ideals magazine. Yeah, put that down there. Put that I don't want to put it right there. Let's put it right there. I like the sound of it. it sounds cool. 
I don't know what I'm gonna put in it. Make it like a little EV tag. Oh, well, that might work. Yeah, look at that. A little writing space. It's like a little pocket or and a tag on top of a collage that could be a pocket or a tag. <laughs> All right. There's that going in there. And then let's see, got a person, got a magazine. Got a doodle. Oh, we got to put the doodle down. All right. Put the doodle down. There we go. A uh, piece of washi. Got that. Actually, two. And the tea bag. Hey, that's kind of cool. All right. Awesome sauce. Kind of want to put this late, this mother goose on here, too. But I don't think she's going to go. So, I think that's it. I think we managed to uh, put everything on there. Although, I do kind of want to add another little tag in here. All right. Okay, we're just going to put it behind the one that's already there. And some more journaling space. And then that is it. Um, assuming I can get my little card in there. I think I might have cut it too big. You got fit in there now? Yes. All right. That's it, and voila. And our collage page is done. Woohoo! So we just did week two of the Marguerite Miller Planner Collage Challenge, um, or the Collage Weekly Planner. That's what it's called. So, anyway, I hope you guys like this video. I hope you guys are doing these challenges too. They're a lot of fun. I think uh, the most challenging part for me is finding everything that's on the list. That's probably the most challenging part for me personally. Um, but anyway, yeah, I hope you guys are doing the, the challenges. And if you are, I'd be interested to see what you guys come up with. And uh, yeah, you can post it in the Facebook group. That's uh, down in the description box below. And I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye, guys.